paid. Bob, you put me on the spot, Bob. <laughs> Are the fighters here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they up yet? Oh, you know what? Uh, thank everybody, all the press for coming out. Um, it was an unbelievable fight. Um, I think, you know, both fighters are... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yo. <laughs> both fighters need to be uh, definitely uh, uh, commended for the great performance they put on for uh, us, you know, media, boxing. I mean, the second week in a row, um, two weeks ago, uh, me and Parabnikov put on a great performance, and... Uh, I think this one by far topped my performance against Pavlikov. I mean, there's a war, a bloody war out there. Uh, both fighters put their life on the line out here for the Hall of Fans and all the media out here. And, uh, you know, top rank HBO, I mean, doesn't get any better than this, man. Unbelievable fight. And uh, would I love to see it again? Yes and no. Uh, the yes is because it's a great fight. And no because, man, these guys took some big, big punches in there. So, but uh, as a fight fan, unbelievable fight. And uh, much respect to both opponents. Uh, that fought here tonight, and uh, they, you know, there's no, no, no loser here, no loser. Even though Alvarado got the decision, there's no loser here. It was an unbelievable fight, and uh, everybody should definitely applaud both fighters. And there should be a mad soul here. If you bet, shame on you. And uh, if you won, go collect. <laughs> anyway, I'm Tim Bradley. Thank you very much. So after, after Rios had. You know, three up. They gotta do it again. What do you, what do you think the adjustment Mike made was? Uh, what Mike did, he started. Uh, he started actually using his jab, moving, and he didn't stay stationary. You know, he kept moving, moving his feet. Um, you know, the big overhand right was working all night. Um, he started going to the body later in the fight, and uh, he actually started actually trying to tie up as opposed to just standing right in front and taking shots from Rios. Rios is a good inside fighter, and he started tying up Rios, and that was a change That was a change of the fight. He got his rhythm. Prior to going into this fight, were you, were you shocked like most people were that it even went the full 12? No, no, I knew it was gonna go 12. I knew it was gonna go 12. I talked to some people from Alvarado's camp. They told me that, uh, you know, Alvarado was sparring 16 rounds, you know, before he, before coming out. You know, uh, they said that he, you know, he just had, you know, guys that come straight at him. Uh, you know, and they were serious about it. They said that he's ready to take the throne. And, uh, you know, I believed him. I said, okay, all right, I believe him. You know, he's a, he's a, you know, Alvarado's a hard worker. You know, he hasn't, nothing came easy to him. You know, he earned this tonight. And, uh, you know, I, I truly believe this one go 12 rounds. Timmy, if they offer you the fight, I know a lot of people, want to, including me, want to see the rematch again. But if they offer it to you, would that be one you're interested in? Why not? I'm, I'm interested in any fights that make sense to boxing, for boxing, for, you know, for everybody involved, you know, with, with myself. Uh, top rank, if that's something that they want to do, if, Matt, um, uh, if Cameron Duncan, that's something they want to do, I entertain any, I entertain any of those matches. And I think somebody said, you know, tonight on the broadcast that you had fight of the going into this, you had the fight of the year locked up. Now, do you feel so confident? Uh, I, it really doesn't matter, man. You know, whether 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 they win fight of the year or not, you know, I'm, I'm a fighter, man. So you know, I got I got a couple more fights this year. Whether I win the award or not, it really doesn't matter to me, man. I'm not here just, you know, fighting for, you know, to get fight of the year. You know, uh, it just happened that way. You know, and uh, you never, you never really, uh, you never really go into the fight thinking you're gonna get fight of the year. So um, tonight was a hell of a fight, man. You know, and uh, if 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 it's if it's fight of the year tonight, then it is what it is. I don't care. Yeah. So <laughs> it's great. It was a great damn fight. Something tells me Tim, they're not gonna do the trilogy fight immediately. If you were offered someone like Alvarado, how would you see yourself in a fight with him? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really thought about that. I haven't really thought about it yet. No, I don't know. Tim, congrats, brother. Your trainer, Joel you. Diaz, he told me you're too fast for either Rio or Alvarado if you would ever fight him. Do you, what do you think about that? Um, you know, I think I think I think I think any of those fights are tough fights. I think any of those fights are 50-50 fights. I mean, you got a guy, you got a guy that, that two guys that come forward and uh, love the bang man and love to bring the intensity in the ring. It's a tough fight, man. You know, any of those fights. Uh, I do have a speed advantage, but you know that don't mean anything. We got to get in the ring and see and see who the best is. Uh, Tim, you were here ringside. Uh, do I think I'll fight Marquez? I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I'm at a point now in my career where, you know, I only worry about guys when they're right in my face. So if Marquez is right here in my face and we're going to do it, we sign on the dotted line, then and that's when I worry. Other than that, I mean, it's just speculation and, and just thoughts, you know, people are having and uh, people believing that I might fight Marquez, I might fight this guy. I really don't know. So um, I got to sit down and talk with uh, Top Rank, my promoters. Talk to my, my manager and uh, you know my wife and I, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure out something here in the near future. What surprised you the most in there, Tim? About both guys, what, when you saw that fight, what surprised you the most? 
Uh, man, just the stamina, man. The stamina those guys have, the will they have. Uh, Rios, he never quit, man. He never stopped. Uh, neither did, uh, you know, Mike, man. He just kept coming and coming. And, uh, you know, uh, Mike adjusted in the ring. You know, he started off early, got caught early, got hurt. He just made adjustments. And, uh, and uh, Rios didn't really make an adjustment. You know, I saw one adjustment that he made. He stopped getting hit with that overhand right. And, uh, you know, he started taking away, he started blocking that, blocking that left side. And, uh, and that was one adjustment that I seen, but for the most part, he just comes forward, comes forward, by so much pressure on you, man, and don't allow you, allow you to breathe in there. You know, we always talk about you not having options, but we just named three different fighters you could fight. I mean, does that feel good for you now, knowing that before maybe those options weren't there, now everybody's talking about the next fight? Oh, I've always had options, man. I mean, a lot of people didn't believe that uh, I had options. I always had options. Yeah. I always believed, you know, um, Top rank, top ranks on my promoters, man. That's that. Yeah. You know, they they're here to promote me. So I gotta fight somebody. <laughs> I gotta fight somebody. So um, you know, they're 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 here working. We're here working together, and uh, it's their job to promote me, and that's what they're doing. And uh, it's my job to get in there and fight. Do you feel like for the general public, perhaps that you, you want a big fight because of the decision that a lot of people, you know, is controversial? Do you feel like you have to kind of vindicate yourself? I've already vindicated myself. I I showed that two weeks ago. You know, I, I vindicated myself and I showed the world who, who I'm at, who I am, you know, inside of the ring, man. Um, I'm a warrior. And uh, the world saw that and, uh, you know, they definitely give me respect now, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't have nothing, to, have nothing else to prove to anybody. I, I know what I'm capable of doing. I'm a four-time world champion. Um, whether you believe I beat Pac or not, that's your, that's your opinion. Everybody has an opinion. I understand that now, so it is what it is. But, uh, you know, we haven't had a return match. We haven't had a, 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 a second fight yet. So, until then, I won the fight. How good does that make you feel? Um, Swear to Terrence that. Crawford have had a lot of positive things to say Hold on, hold on, one at a time, guys. Okay. Figure it out. Uh, you swear to Terrence Crawford had a lot of positive things to say about him recently. Top, some of top ranks own people uh, were a little concerned it was uh, too big of a jump. Were you pretty sure that he was going to come through this fight as easy as he did? Ter Terrence Crawford is the next, man. He's the truth. Um, there's, not a, there's not a guy at 140 right now that can beat Terrence Crawford. I'm letting everybody know that right now. Um, Terrence Crawford, I'm telling you, man, very intelligent fighter, very smart fighter, uses his head in the ring, he can make adjustments, he can fight inside, outside, he can fight lefty, he can fight righty, he fight better lefty, I thought, in the fight. Um, this guy is a great uh, class act, he's a humble guy, uh, I had him in the camp for a couple of fights, he's a great, great fighter, and uh, the sky's the limit for that guy, it's all, it's all up to him. What you make of the crowd booing him? Well, you know, uh, this 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 crowd is a, is a rowdy crowd, you know, and uh, you know they've come to see a fight. You know, this is Rio's Alvarado, so you know everybody everybody the true fight fans, you know the hardcore fight fans that like wars, they here to see that, you know. So, you know, if the crowd booed it, it is what it is, you know. Um, he had to fight his fight and his game plan, and that's what he did. Uh,